Okie dokie, thank you for joining me in this video as a part of the others in this series in which I will read a paragraph to you. And actually, more specifically, this is written in the style of an informal letter, or excuse me, a formal letter. And embedded within this particular letter are going to be errors potentially related to spelling, grammar, punctuation, and the like. So just bear that in mind or keep that in mind as I read it to you. Afterwards, I'm going to ask that you pause the video once I step out of frame and have you correct it independently. Resume so that you and I can correct them together. Ideally, your corrections will align with my own. Otherwise, feel free to let me know what substitutions or additions uh, or other modifications you made in the comment section below. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and start with the date, right? So November 27th, 1726. Dear Diary, there's our greeting. This is our second Thanksgiving in Boston. Mama, Carrie, Nellie, and I has been cooking for two days. Nellie and I are in charge of shelling the clams and mussels for the shellfish chowder. Carrie is shucking the corn and shelling lima beans for succotash. Mama, of course, is baking his delicious pumpkin pie. Oh, okay. Go ahead and here, oh, pause the video to make your corrections independently. <coughs> Excuse me, coming out of the cold. All right, I'm moving and shaking, so let's go ahead and make these corrections. Starting first with our date, November, it's the name of a month, proper noun. Let's go ahead and capitalize it. 27th, shouldn't be separated from the year with a colon. It should be a comma, so we're gonna strike that colon. Jumping into the sentence, dear diary, comma, always after the greeting, comma. This is our second Thanksgiving, name of a holiday, proper noun, let's capitalize it, in Boston, period. Mama, Carrie, Nellie, and I, so we're generating a list and each Part of that list or the series or part of the series needs to be separated with a comma. Carrie, Nellie, and I as well, these are proper nouns, so let's go ahead and capitalize them. Has been cooking for two days. Has been should be have been, so we're going to change that to H-A-V-E, cooking for two days, period. We've concluded that thought. New sentence. Nellie and I are in charge of shelling the clams and mussels for the shellfish chowder, period. There's our thought, complete thought, end with a period. New sentence, capitalize it, first word as well, it's a proper noun. Carrie is shucking the corn and shelling lima beans for succotash, period. Mama, of course, here is in a positive, which means we need to splice it in using two, series, two sets of commas, excuse me, one set of commas. So mama, of course, a positive refers back to that original noun, is baking his delicious pumpkin pie. His is the incorrect possessive pronoun as mama is a female. So we want to change that to the female possessive. Her delicious pumpkin, pumpkin, P is silent though, but spelled P-U-M-P-K-I-N, P, a uh, pie, period. And thus, hopefully, we have found all the corrections. Again, let me know what modifications you made in the comment section below. Uh, otherwise, give this video a like if you found it helpful and subscribe if you'd like to continue to practice with me. All right, thank you.